me more about this key finding. There was a, a new undergraduate who had come into the Schaefer Nishimura lab. Her name is Tori Muse. They asked her to, uh, to introduce an antibody into uh, these, these mice in order to kind of uh, illuminate the blood cells flowing through the vessels. So, you know, Tori conducted the study exactly as she had been asked. And, um, and then when she looked at the images and started counting to see how many stalls uh, or stalled capillaries were in the Alzheimer's mice compared to the wild type mice, she didn't find any extra stalls in the Alzheimer's mice and she was really confused. In fact, she was worried that she had actually made a mistake. She gathered her courage and she went back to them and said, hey, you know, like, I, I, I wonder if I did something wrong here because I'm not seeing any more stalling in the Alzheimer's mice. They went through the protocol with her. It sounded like she had done everything right. And then they realized that the introduction of the antibody had actually made the stalls go away. So um, the method they were using to, to light things up and see what was happening inside the mouse brains was actually um, making those stalls go away and restoring blood flow to the Alzheimer's mice. Mm. So then when they intentionally did this another time, and they looked at the cognitive effects on the mice, they saw that the that within hours or less of introducing this, the mice were not only having a reduced stall rate, but they were getting memories back and, and their cognitive symptoms were going away. My first thought was like, you're, you're there, you found the first effective treatment for Alzheimer's disease. But there was a problem, wasn't there? That drug that they introduced that made the stalls go away was an immunosuppressant. And if you gave that to a mouse for an extended period of time, or a human, or any organism, then, um, th then it would suppress the immune system to the point that the organism wouldn't be able to fight off disease. It would be like giving a mouse AIDS.